everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my June wrap-up so in the middle of June I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back because I read a total of eight books which that's the most I think I've ever read in one month pretty much ever so I really enjoyed pretty much every single one of the books I read so I'm gonna jump jump right in and get started to show you guys what I read this month so the first book I read in the month of June was When Dimple Met Rishi and this is by Sindhya Manon this was the Peru's Utopia book club book of the month for the month of June and it was also one of my most highly anticipated reads of this year. This is a young adult contemporary novel that follows two Indian American main characters and first we have Dimple who is a very headstrong female main character and she has just graduated high school and so has Rishi and she is going off to Stanford and when she during the summer she is going to go to this tech camp for up-and-coming web developers which I think is so so cool and there she meets a man named Rishi and unbeknownst to Dimple they have been set up in an arranged marriage and Rishi is kind of there to meet Dimple and get to know her for their planned up-and-coming wedding eventually and they have their after their first meeting it all takes off from there it's very very cute it's a really fluffy like hearted contemporary that's perfect to start off the summer I absolutely enjoyed it and I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars the next book, or the next three books I actually read for the Emojithon Readathon that I was doing in the month of June. I'll leave my TBR video for that link down below if you guys want to check that out. So the first book I read for that was the, one of my most disappointing books I read this year, and that was Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer is the author of the Luna Chronicles series, which I'm sure most of you guys have heard of on BookTube. It's a very, very popular series. Personally, I read Cinder last year, did not like it. I have a full review for that up on the channel. I'll link that down below if you guys want to hear my thoughts on that. So I decided I want to give Marissa Meyer another chance, so I picked up Heartless, and I was even more disappointed. I liked this even less than I did Cinder. I gave this a 2 out of 5 stars. Very overhyped. Um, but I'm not... I'm going to give Marissa Meyer one more chance. So I'm going to read one more book I her. Hopefully enjoy that more than the last two. But I'm not giving up on her just yet. But this, it was a good, it was an Alice in Wonderland retelling, which I expected to love because I love Alice in Wonderland, but I just did not like it. The next book I read in the month of June was a book that I finally got to after months and months and months and months of being on my TBR. And that is Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa. I met Joey Graceffa back in October of last year. I have a full, uh, full video on that. I will link that down below if you guys want to check that out as well. And this is a young adult dystopian novel who, that follows our main character, Rowan. And in this world, you are only one. Every single family can only have one child, but she is an illegal second child, considering her parents had twins. Now, one day the government finds out that she's uh, alive when she shouldn't be, and she uh, escapes from her house and kind of goes on an adventure from there. She meets a girl named Lark, and they go on this adventure together. Overall, this is a very good dystopian book. If you guys are fans of the, either the Legend Trilogy or Diversion, I think you would really, really enjoy this book. There's also a great amount of representation in this book. We have an LGBTQ plus romance going on. We also have a character who is epileptic, which is a siege disorder. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read in the month of June was uh, a book I actually got from one of my good friends here on booktube which is Lisa over at Books and Smiles. I'll link her channel down below. She's amazing. Go check her out if you haven't already. And that book was Dance Upon the Air and this is by Nora Roberts. This is a adult magical realism book and it follows our main character Nell who escapes her from her abusive relationship out in California and she moves all the way across the country after faking her own death to an island off the coast of Salem, Massachusetts, which is one of my favorite towns to visit because I am from Massachusetts. So anyways, back to the actual description of the book. Uh, she moves to Three Sisters Island, the island off the coast of Massachusetts, where she discovers she has magical abilities and the town has been cursed by the three sisters who founded the island. And the only way to break it is if the three sister or the three descendants of the three sisters come together to break it themselves. I really enjoyed this book. It's a little hard to get into at first, but once you really get into it, it's amazing. I think if you are a fan of the show Once Upon a Time, you would really enjoy this book because it gives a lot of the same kind of feelings to it, and I give this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read in the month of June was my favorite book I think I've read this year, and that book is A Court of Mist and Fury. This is by Sarah J. Mass. This is the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. 
I love this book so much, guys. If you guys are not familiar with this series, which I'm sure most of you guys are, this is a new adult fantasy series that has Faye in it, and it's just amazing. I loved it so much. Oh my gosh, I cannot recommend Sarah J. Mass's books enough. It, just read the series if you haven't already. I highly recommend this. I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. So the next three books I read on ebook. So the first book is called Horizon. This is by Tabitha Ward. Uh, this is a young adult, maybe new adult science fiction slash dystopian novel. And this is kind of, it's more post-apocalyptic post than dystopian. But it follows two main characters. First we have Kaylee and she lives on a planet that has just had a massive genocide of most of the people which is absolutely horrible so she escapes from that town and moves to live on her own then she meets a boy named Derek who has been in a ship crash and he crashes onto her planet and they kind of form a relationship and their adventure takes off from there this is a very good starter book the second book in the series just came out last month I have an advanced readers copy of this of course, I have not read it yet, but I highly recommend you guys go check this out. I give this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read in the month of June was a ARC, and this book is called Mary Poser, and this is a adult contemporary book. This comes out on August 21st. This follows our main character, Mary. She lives in Nashville, Tennessee, and one day she is at a film festival where she meets a director. His name, I cannot remember off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. But this, his... This boy is from India, he's an upcoming film director, and their relationship comes out, kind of takes off from there. I'm so sorry, I cannot remember the main character's name off the top of my head, but it is so, so cute. I loved it. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I think you guys would really enjoy it. It has a great amount of representation. There is a love triangle in it, but it kind of doesn't take, you know, front and center stage. I just recommend you guys go check this out. And the last book I read in the month of June was Heart of Mist, and this is by Helen Schumacher. I am so sorry if I pronounced that last name wrong. But this is also an advanced reader's copy. This book comes out on August 31st. This is a young adult fantasy series that is very similar to Throne of Glass. I would say if you enjoy Throne of Glass, you would really enjoy this book. It follows her main character. Her name is Bleak. And she is the town alcoholic in her small town. One day, she has done something wrong. I'm not going to say what that is. And she is captured by the king's guards. And she is supposed to be taken to the king for punishment. While on her way to the king, pretty much, her, there's these magic beings, which I cannot remember the name of. They're kind of like um, Aztecian princess warriors. That's the best way I can uh, describe them. And she is trained to be one of them. And it takes off from there. It's a very good fantasy book. I highly recommend you guys go check this out when it hits stores on August 31st. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. And that is everything I read in the month of June. I got you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned or booktubers mentioned linked down below in the description if you guys want to check them out. I also have all my social media linked down below. So if you guys want to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or even my blog, they are all linked down below down in the description. I will see you guys soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.